Please welcome Okta's Vice President of Strategic Events, Karen Flores. Hello, welcome to Octane 22. We are back in San Francisco, our hometown, and we are so thrilled to be with you after three years. And it is our 10th anniversary, give it up. Yes. <laughs> we are also so happy to welcome thousands of you who are joining us on Okta Online. And new this year, we have over a half a million viewers joining us on Twitter. Welcome, Twitter Sphere. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for taking your time and spending it with us. It truly is our honor to welcome all of you to Octane 22, the identity event of the year. All right, so one of Octa's strengths is connecting people with technology and with each other. And that is why we are so grateful for this opportunity to Octane to connect with all of you. Todd McKinnon, our CEO and co-founder, is gonna be taking the stage in just a few minutes. And he's here to share our vision and mission to free everyone to safely connect with everything that matters. And he's gonna to talk to you about putting the power of identity at the heart of your stack. We are also so thankful for our partner community who is here with us today, both in person and on Okta Online. And they are here showcasing the power and innovation of our power ecosystem. A huge special thanks to AWS, our titanium partner, and Beyond ID and Deloitte, our platinum partners. Thank you, we cannot do this without you. So we have packed this agenda with visionary speakers like Serena Williams, who saw Serena last night. Come on, how great was she? Yes, she's a champion, an entrepreneur, a mother. What a way to start the week. And we also have over 80 sessions across this week in person and on online, where we will be sharing tons of amazing stories of customer success, expert panels, exclusive roadmaps, and so much more. So tomorrow, the legendary NBA Hall of Famer, Irvin Magic Johnson, will take the stage right here at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. You do not want to miss this. Where are my Lakers fans? Hello, hello. Hard for me to say as a San Francisco girl, but okay. <laughs> all right, so you may be wondering, how can I get all this great information? Like, how, how can I navigate this? Well, if you haven't already, you need to download our Octane mobile app and build your schedule. And guess what? If you've already built your schedule, it's automatically gonna pre-populate into the My Agenda section on your mobile app. So this is a great tool. Everything you need to know about Octane is right there and ready for you to go. So, what would Octane be without a party? Come on, this is, our la this is our chance to say thank you once again to all of you. So please join us tonight at the Masonic Auditorium for a celebration featuring a band that will certainly make your hands clap, Fitz and the Tantrums. Yes, come on, let me have that. I made them do that. I wanted to have a little fun this morning. <laughs> The doors open at seven o'clock, so come join us. We're gonna do some dancing, and do not forget to bring your conference badge. It is your ticket in the door. All right, aside from all this incredible content and the fun that we've got planned for you, we recognize how critical it is to be a contributing member to both our broader technology ecosystem and our community of San Francisco. And that is why Okta for Good is thrilled to partner with the Community Tech Network, or the CTN, because the CTN believes that access to the internet is a human right, and that those without the skills to use a computer are at risk of social and economic disadvantage. And you know what? We agree. And that is why Okta for Good has made a donation in honor of Octane 22 and in honor of all of you because we are here to support the CTN, and together we are all dedicated to bringing digital literacy and internet access to digitally excluded communities. So thank you, Community Tech Network, for all you do. We are so proud to support you. 
All right, so who is ready? Who is ready to start the show? You've heard a lot from me. <laughs> At Opta, our purpose as a company has never been more clear, and it's really never been more inspiring because we believe that identity should belong to you. So it truly is our great honor to welcome all of you to Octane 22. Let's do this. The threat landscape has changed. The level and sophistication of attackers is not going to be met with human scale. Having Okta play the foundation role of that zero trust journey has made it easy. It's a personalization capability that can scale to millions of users. Anything that simplifies our lives, bring it. I'm, I'm ready for it. Okta gave us the capability to secure with ease. I don't think there's any other way to say it. Like, identity is everything. Hello, it's great to see you all here in the room and online around the world. This is our 10th Octane, so hopefully you've made a bunch of great memories over in the past 10 years. And if you've never been to an Octane before, it's a great opportunity to start making some memories for the future. I have certainly made a ton of my favorite memories at Octane. The most, the first one that pops into my mind clearly is in 2018 when I got to interview President Obama. And the reason I'm smiling is because it was by far the most nervous I've ever been on an Octane stage, bar none. In fact, I watched a recording of it a couple months after, and it was like I was watching it for the first time. I didn't remember anything from the interview. It, it, it was actually, it was pretty good. So that was cool. In, in 2020, we had three weeks to pivot Octane 20 from an awesome stage like this into a more humble stage in our home in San Francisco. And instead of this amazing crew producing this event, I had an equally amazing but a little more scrappy crew of my wife, who's here today. Hi, Rox. And my two kids helping me out with the camera shots. And at that time, it was a great memory. I think we did a decent job. But I swore to myself that the next time I got back on the Octane stage, I would do one, th one thing. And that would be, hmm, here comes the sun, do 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 do. Do you want to sing with me, Rox? Come on up here. Are you you going to take a pass on that? OK. <laughs> that's probably, we're already behind schedule, so it's probably good. But if you don't, know what I, you don't know what that's all about, you should go walk back and watch the video, or you can DM me on Twitter. I'll tell you all about it. You can catch me on the party Wednesday night. Excited to talk about that great experience. My last memory is from 2016, when we really formalized our, this culture ethos we have at Okta to 
give back to our communities more than we take by taking the 1% pledge and, and committing 300,000 shares of Okta stock into our nonprofit Okta for Good, which, yeah, that's, <laughs> and it led to, it's like follow the money, right? So in 2017, we were able to make our donation to NetHope, which is a great partner of ours, and we've, we've been able to continue to give back through volunteering and, and donations, and we're really proud of our progress there. So here's to making a ton more memories uh, this week and in the years ahead. So along with, the, along with the success at Octane, we've grown up as a company and as a community, as an ecosystem over the past 10 years as well. 200 employees back in 2013, up to over 6,000 amazing people, all dedicated on making you successful as customers in your endeavors. And speaking of customers, look at this. This still blows me away. We have 16,000 plus customers now. And I think we just probably got another one in the last couple minutes, and another one, and another one. It keeps growing and growing. And all built around this foundation of the Okta integration network, which is by far the broadest and deepest integration in the ecosystem. So these are great accomplishments. It's been, it's been fun to be up here the past 10 years, but it's all because of you. You believed in us. You worked with us as customers. You trusted us with your future. And we're, hard, we're very honored to work hard to earn your business and earn your trust and, and make you successful every day. We're proud of this momentum. And it's not just Okta that's grown up over the last 10 years. The world has changed a lot of ways too. Things that weren't, didn't even exist 10 years ago that are now household names, TikTok. Many of you traveled here and you probably used your away bag. You collaborate with Notion. You may have slept on a Casper mattress. These things are all new innovation. Tesla sold 22,000 cars all of 2013. This year, or this month alone, they'll sell twice that many. And as I was driving here today, in my San Francisco neighborhood, I think there may be 22,000 parked on my block. <laughs> we, we, we like our Teslas here in San Francisco. So in our world, we've seen a steady progress of the, of the secular trends that have powered our growth for many, many years. And those are, everyone's heard of them in this room. It's more and more cloud computing. Now, it, cloud computing is the default choice of technology architecture, and it's security. As the, more things get done online, and there's more information, the security risks and opportunities become bigger than ever. And we're all trying to transform digitally, take advantage of all this technology to build stronger relationships with our customers and move our businesses forward. These trends have been enduring, and they will endure for many years into the future, but we're in a different time now. It's a time of macroeconomic uncertainty, and everyone is scrutinizing purchases and scrutinizing every dollar and making sure it is spent to the most high return activities. We're all doing this. Okta's doing this. Everyone's doing this. And here's the comforting thing. These three trends, they are our friends. They will help us prosper in these times because what is cloud? It's the ability to make the right capital investments and balance with the right operational investments and flexibly consume resources as you need them. Security is evergreen. The cost of a breach in terms of regulatory oversight or what it means for your reputational risk doesn't change with an economic downturn. You have to invest in security and have a strong security posture no matter what. And digital transformation, I'm very passionate about this one. At Okta, we started in the last Great Recession, 2009. So we learned firsthand how by, in a time of economic uncertainty, how by focusing your investments on innovative new digital transformation initiatives, you can leap forward and build something amazing while your competition or the rest in your industry may be hunkering down and too scared to take a risk and make an investment. And that's powerful. So we've been successful because of these trends, but we're also proud that in our way, we've helped, we have helped catalyze them. And that's because before Okta, it was a different world. You could choose the cloud, but choosing the cloud meant an identity silo in that application or service. And you had many of these as you tried to consume more cloud applications. And the identity platforms at the time were more about locking you in to a, 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 a platform on premise. The classic example is the Windows and the Microsoft ecosystem around Active Directory on prem. But there's other examples too, with IBM and their, their, their services and platform, and Oracle was the same way. So that was a choice. You could choose the cloud and have these silos out there, or you could choose a monolithic platform. 
but we saw a different world. Our goal was to connect everything because fundamentally we believed we could give you the best of both worlds. We could give you security, choice, and make sure that you had the best innovation in terms of the services and applications you used. In fact, the name Okta, those of you that have been, at, been with Okta for a while, you know this, it actually comes from the meteorological scale for cloud cover. We wanted to unlock the choice for cloud. And this choice was possible for one simple reason. That was because of our independence and our neutrality. Independence and neutrality, it's a core focus of ours, and it's very important. And our sole focus across the board was solving your identity management challenges, not locking you into some set of platforms and services. We wanted to give you choice for everything. And we do this through our Okta integration network. At the time, it was revolutionary. It seems commonplace now. We've, we've established this in the industry. But at the time, the, the, an out-of-the-box pre-integrated identity stack that lets you choose any technology easily without relying too much on protocols and confusing proprietary methods, we gave you choice. So we're proud of all this and how far we've come over the last 10 years. But we're not a group of people that looks back. We look forward. We're going ahead all the time. And while we've had some success, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity ahead for us as well. So as we take a breath here and take stock of where we are, I think it's helpful to position this all as some critical questions. So for IT folks in the room and online, is every app, system, or tool centralized on a single identity provider for everyone and everything? I'm gonna stand here until everyone answers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and if, if you don't know what an identity provider is, you're probably watching the wrong keynote. <laughs> and hopefully, a lot of you can nod yes. The next one's a little harder. Is your entire workforce passwordless? Is your identity solution anti-phishing for everything and everyone? It's a, little harder. it's a little harder to nod yes for that. Are your identity compliance business processes fully automated from onboarding to compliance reviews, changes in roles, and finally, when people leave your organization? That one's harder. How about digital teams? All of your login flows flowing through your MarTech stack? Some of you are like, is that possible? And you, can you tell right now, right now, if a visitor to your app is a bot or a legitimate, users, or a legitimate user? Development teams, are your customers logging in on their own terms with whatever password list or social login provider that's going to make them successful? And can you flip a switch and prevent tens of millions of breach credentials from being used on your site? And are you, if you're building SaaS apps, are they enterprise ready right out of the box? So identity, it's become the how for all of these questions. All of these questions are powered by identity. It's, it's the center of the technology landscape. And every single team in your organization needs identity. So that's why we need to go further. Our work is not done. We need everyone to answer yes to all of these questions, everyone in the whole world. And that's how we'll know identity, and then Okta, has reached its full potential. But it's not about Okta. It's about you. What will this mean for you? It'll mean you can launch products. You can acquire businesses. You can adopt any technology you want. You can collaborate with anyone you want. In essence, and this is what it's all about, you can grow and prosper, and you can reach your vision. That's what drives us. And that's why we still we need to connect everything and for everyone. So your workforce, what do you want? You want an agile and secure workforce. And you want your customers to love your brand starting right when they look at the login box. And connecting everything means every employee, contractor, and partner, they can work anywhere and on any device. They can access apps and everything securely and seamlessly, whether it's cloud apps or on-prem or databases or servers or containers or the next great technology that comes up. They have to access it all. And most importantly, all of your security teams get visibility in everything across the board, seamless visibility. And at the same time, customers easily get into everything they want with a simple and secure and seamless user experience. 
All these teams are involved, development teams, digital teams, and security teams. They're efficient and productive and happy because they're working on the most strategic things for your business, not for undifferentiated work that's not going to move you ahead. And because when we do this, when we accomplish all this together, we will have enabled everyone to safely use any technology. In fact, that's our vision. Our vision is we want to free everyone to safely use identity. We want to free everyone to safely use any technology. And this world of freedom, this world of freedom is a world where identity belongs to you. And we mean you as individuals. Identity should belong to you because that's how you are going to reach your full potential. But we also mean the collective you, your teams, your groups, all the way up to your CEO, your CIO, CISO, chief digital officer, your whole company can reach its potential. So that's what this Octane is. We're celebrating 10 years, but we're talking about the future and the vision, and we're going we're gonna to give you a preview of the next 10 Octanes and the next time together. So our vision, it's grounded in real-world customer success. Customers drive us. So I want to get started by sharing an awesome customer story, and that's the story of Trip Actions. At TripActions, we have some very sensitive data related to our travelers and also financial data related to our customers' employees' expenses. The threat landscape has changed. The level and sophistication of attackers is not going to be met with human scale. If you have an attack or something happening inside of your environment, you have to act now. You have to move very quickly and you have to have all the data in one place. Most of it is happening through a weakness in identity, right? It's usually through a business email compromise or like some social engineering attempts. So from a security, compliance, and a trust perspective, the identity is central to all of that. I don't think there's any other way to say it. Like, identity is everything. Having Okta has been really, really key to our success and our growth. Our developers were focused on building an identity solution. We realized that we could get much more speed to delivery with a purchase of a solution versus trying to build it ourselves. I'm already, my mind is starting to plan, like how many resources, how do I need to plan this? It would be a challenging world from an identity management perspective, yeah. You don't wanna go with a new company in this area. You wanna go with someone that's done it before, that this is their core competency. I have been an Okta user for more than a decade, having it be the industry standard. I have have absolute confidence in what Okta is able to provide our customers as well. It's not just PII security and data privacy, but it is also personal security. We have some Fortune 100 customers, we have late stage startups, startups and all of that based on their risk tolerance and risk posture. They expect various level of security. Customer Identity Cloud is built around these principles, so it's a no-brainer for us, yeah. <laughs> Okta gives me and my team the freedom to make sure that we have incredibly happy customers, both internal and external. A customer identity solution, especially for a company that is scaling as rapidly as Trip Actions, is so vital. We're all about the user all of the time, right? So we needed to figure out how can we provide value. It's critical to the ongoing success of our product within our, our customers' environments. Is it easy for them to log in? Is it easy for them to integrate with their existing SSO, MFA? Is it seamless? What what we're doing is looking after our users, which is basically our North Star. Okta has helped us really scale, not just internally, but also from a customer identity perspective. My own PII, what do I feel comfortable actually sharing with a company? It's all based on a level of trust. And the fact that we use Okta is kind of the basis of who we are as a company. We are not an identity company. <laughs> Utilizing the customer identity cloud allowed our developers to focus on building a world-class travel and expense platform and not an identity solution. Having all that data holistically across workforce identity cloud and customer identity cloud is a massive advantage from a security standpoint. When you look at the world before and what it is now, it's, it, it's kind of magic. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming to the Octane stage the CIO of Trip Actions, Kim Huffman. Thank you so much. Hey. 
All right. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, thanks. So I'm sure many people here booked the travel to come to Octane. We're using trip actions. Okta, we use it as a company. I live in San Francisco, so I didn't have to book a trip, <laughs> but I would have. Um, but for those of you that, for those of you that, for those folks that haven't used trip actions, what's the best thing to know about it? Um, I think, you know, we um, have a fundamental belief that uh, travel, end-to-end -end travel should be seamless and easy for everyone. Um, and so we provide a solution that is an all-in-one global solution that's focused on not only travel, but also expense management. And so that end and experience starts with managing and booking your trip to not having to do an expense report at the end of it. Um, and I'm- I think uh, they like that. I know. <laughs> that was good. Um, and so we started in the space to really disrupt the sort of business travel um, space with innovation and, and that area. And we parlayed that into the expense management area. And, you know, we fundamentally believe that, you know, it is, uh, should be seamless and frictionless and easy uh, to, to do your travel and to enjoy your travel. And it really should be like a consumer experience. Is, when you guys think about your choice of technology, do you think about it like a tech company? Or are your values centered on broader than that, like the end-to-end -end experience? How do you think about that? Um, we think of ourselves as a technology company, of course, and we really think that, you know, like you, travel, you know, travel should be easy, right? And the technology innovation is what is enabling us and empowering us to make travel easy for everybody. When you guys think about differentiating yourself against, well, first of all, I was thinking about the structure of your industry. Is it, when you go into a customer, is it, are you replacing something or is it, it's a smaller company that just is using travel for the first time. What's the industry dynamic there? Um, it's mixed. I think, you know, we have customers that are obviously growing and they want to introduce a travel program, travel and expense program to their employees. So in that case, we're not really displacing an uh, incumbent. In other cases, we have, um, you know, customers that have been using sort of, you know, an, an older school TMC or a travel management company. And uh, <laughs> TMC. <laughs> we are, um, you know, introducing this sort of different way of doing business travel and expense management to the customer. And so we're competing with uh, TMCs and in a lot of cases, you know, expense management solutions like, you know, Concur and things like that that are out there now that um, really aren't innovating as much in the space that most travelers would like to see. When you, when you got to Trip Actions, was it you're taking stock of the technology environment there and the strategy and the values of the company was... Identity a big thing there? Was it even considered a category, an important thing to invest in? Or tell me the landscape of identity when you got there. Yeah, I think as any technology leader, um, you want to look at building a foundation that is going to allow the business to kind of scale and grow quickly. And obviously, um, I joined Trip Actions about a year ago, and we were just coming out of the pandemic. And so we knew that we, travel was going to be coming back, and we wanted to be able to to support that scale and growth. And so... Amazing story of resiliency, by the way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> as, as a um, company, it's very impressive. So we focused on, you know, what does that foundation look like? And we already had the Okta Workforce Identity Cloud, obviously, and I've been in the industry a long time, and I've used that. And, um, and we were really looking at a way to, you know, as we look at technology solutions, specifically what solutions are going to allow our engineers to have more time to focus on the core competency, which is developing the world class, you know, travel and expense platform. And, you know, identity, obviously, we had an, a custom solution that, you know, wasn't going to deliver that. When they, you say custom solution, you mean you were building it yourself? Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, um, and it was working. But um, when you think about identity and how critical it is to, in, in, and I view it as actually an enabler of business, I think, you know, the security, you know, obviously is important. But I actually think if we can make the experience as seamless and easy to use for the user, it's actually an enabler for adoption of our platform and adoption of our product by our users. And so when we look at that and we say, you know, is it going to increase our speed to delivery? Is it going to reduce some of our technical debt? And is it going to enable our users to have a seamless experience? Um, it, those were the selection criteria. And we looked at, obviously, the, the customer identity cloud to meet the, those requirements and started the migration. And um, it's been going well. So we're happy. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. The, the, you mentioned an interesting trade-off there. So when you get to Trip Actions, the culture of the organization around UX, user experience, and security. Was it a UX company? 
or was it a security company? It's an interesting, a lot of, lot of information, critical information, yes. personal information. Exactly. A lot of trust yep. in the brand. And I'm interested in the dynamic you found there between, between that trade-off. I mean, I think any industry, whether you're in travel or retail, I think now with the landscape as, as it is, you know, you have to be able to balance trust and security and user experience. Um, the good news is that I think, um, you know, it's, it, it can be viewed in a lens of enablement and not as a, you know, adding friction to a process if done correctly. And so that's been one of the ways with which we sort of flipped the view of how we view security. And it's, it's, it's allowed us, and there's solutions like obviously the identity cloud that have allowed us to sort of balance the two, I think. Because I think um, you're, you're never going to have a perfect world where you're 100% focused on user experience and yeah, not security. Middle, yeah. So you've got to balance that. And I think fortunately um, the technology has come, come to the point where we're able to, you know, we can use it to innovate in ways that we couldn't before, you know? Was it, was it, I don't know how to quite ask this question. It's going to be easy to answer. Don't okay. Um, is, was it like a hard sell internally or was it? Um, I don't think. You have, it was, was Kim in super sell mode or was she <laughs> um, was subtly influencing? Because well, people want to build it themselves. They're like, we got this. We can do this better. I mean, for us, you know, security is important because, you know, as you saw in the film, you know, we've got traveler data and it's, you know, PII, PCI, personal security. So security is very important. We take customer trust, very important. So that aspect wasn't hard to sell. Um, are our developers waking up every day thinking about identity? No. Your developers are. They better and be. So we want to. <laughs> we want to make sure that we have a solution. In fact, they better not be watching this. You better be thinking about identity. <laughs> so we wanted to make sure we had a solution in that space. Where, where that's where the you know it wasn't a side project. It was yeah. something that you know the company was focused on. Yeah. So okay, it wasn't as hard as you thought. Yeah, well, that's good. We're trying. We're working hard to make it an easier choice. <laughs> yeah. What's the? Um, tell us the super secret strategy for Trip Action's future. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. What, what's interesting? What, what are you working on? What's? Um, what should people look out for from Trip Action? I think. Trip I mean, I think you know. Like I said before, I think the the space itself is ripe for innovation. You know, travel industry, you know, yeah. as a whole is ripe for innovation. I think um, there's a huge opportunity. You know, we we came in and we really focused on business travel, and I think, you know, 80% of someone's travel. People here are, you know, it's their air and hotel. But there's a lot of things that are done on a trip that are expenses. And I think that's a huge opportunity for us to really d have that delightful experience end to end. And from everything from booking travel to getting home and having the money in your bank account before you land, that's unheard of in the industry. And so that's what we're focused on. And that's the innovation and in, in, in the technology innovation that's exciting because it changes everyone. You know, yeah, I think it's a, it. it's a, there's so much, it's one of these areas that there's been solutions and people have been working on it for a long time, but it still seems to be messed up for everyone. And it's Except actually pretty cool. Except if you're using cool. trip actions, yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and I mentioned this uh, in my comments, I said in times of uncertainty or, or economic, macroeconomic issues, those that can invest and persevere are going to come out the other side stronger. And so it's, a super, it's very impressive to see what Trip Actions has done over the last three years in really a, a tough environment for travel and spending. And I think you guys are going to be amazing coming out of it and prosper for many years in the future. Yeah, it's an exciting time. I mean, we, we took the opportunity during the um, pandemic, obviously, there was no travel, to really focus on this complimentary offering. And it's a bit of a silver cloud moment because it really does you know, allow us to offer that end-to-end -end experience that's completely easy and frictionless for, for everyone. So we're excited about it as well. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Kim Huffman, everyone. That's great. Identity, it belongs to Trip Actions, and that's who we're building for here at Okta. We recognize what matters for your businesses and how identity should work to solve your challenges. Has to work with your stack, your way, with deep integrations to all the technologies you need to use. Has to be built for change. That means adaptable, customizable, and comprehensive across your entire environment. Has to be incredibly easy to use from your 
end users, of course, but also your administrators and your developers, all built on this foundation of trusted reliability. It has to be reliable, secure, and always on. And this is our DNA. Because we only focused on identity, we can pour all our effort and energy into that. And today, we are bringing comprehensive coverage of identity with the unveiling of the Workforce Identity Cloud and the Customer Identity Cloud. The Workforce Identity Cloud is identity for employees, contractors, and business partners. I'm lucky enough to serve as the executive sponsor for a great Okta customer, NTT. NTT has an amazing IT team. And we do our part to make them even a little bit more high performing. They didn't need much help, but we can just give them a little help to turn them into this amazing, world-class, world-beating team. NTT using Okta gets identity-powered security. They get an agile workforce that can work anywhere and, and be flexible to meet the dynamics of their industry. They've automated all of their identity end-to-end -end business processes with tens of thousands of our workflows from our workflows platform service. And they have passwordless security across the entire company. Customer Identity Cloud, you've used it in many cases. You probably don't even know. It's the Auth0 technology, and it's identity for consumer apps and SaaS apps. If you've ever logged into Dick's Sporting Goods, you've used the Customer Identity Cloud. And we focused on these use cases with two clouds, each with specific dedicated teams building the exact requirements for each of these markets. And that's because the audiences and the use cases are distinct. While they're distinct, these two clouds sit atop the Okta identity platform. The Okta identity platform, it's an interoperability layer across our clouds. The strategy and the goal here is very clear. It's not to merge these two clouds together. Rather, it's to have them each be best in class and then deliver these high value integrations across them both, only where it makes sense for all of your teams. So whether what you need to do is create incredible digital experiences for your customers or empower your workforce, our two clouds and platform are purpose built to get your teams there. So Okta's journey to building a world where identity belongs to you started with the Workforce Identity Cloud and its core role to help you adopt more and more technology. And that's a daunting challenge. If you consider even a two-person company, simplest company in the world, right? That company probably has more than 10 tech vendors. If you consider their phones and their simple applications for collaboration and their computers, their networking equipment, as that company grows and flourishes, it even gets more complex. Think of your own company. How many apps and users and technologies do you have to manage? It's quite complex. So what you're probably doing is you're probably trying to centralize some things on platforms. But no one platform can cover it all. They're all of their reach, no matter how broad, their, their, their reach is limited, ultimately, to what everything you need to have done. And those, these platforms, they become silos themselves. And as you know, silo, silos are problems. And not only is this complex enough, but this world of complexity, it's boundaryless. Any company you want to do business with, it has people, devices, and resources, and they must work as seamlessly and securely as your own people, devices, and resources. It has to cross this boundary. You need a boundaryless workforce identity cloud. And your workforce identity cloud has to support this environment for every type of worker on every device they use, every technology across partners, third parties, and beyond. It has to work for everyone, but not just anyone. And nobody understands the implications of this better than we do here at Okta. Earlier this year, I'm sure you remember, we had a security incident. And while the technical impact of this was limited, we took this very seriously. And this drove massive change at our company. We published and shared with all of you our security action plan. I'm sure you've all reviewed it. I'm happy to report that we finished this and checked off every commitment in there early in October. And there were many great things. We are a learning company. We, we embrace growth and change and getting better going forward. And we learned a ton. We made a ton of changes to processes and communication. Some of the most interesting changes were around the product, product enhancements that help support managing a third party and their technology as if it were your own. Because really it is. There is no boundary in this world. So Okta is stronger because of this, and so is the Workforce Identity Cloud. 
And that's why customers like FedEx, JetBlue, and Anji, they use the Workforce Identity Cloud to grow and to protect their businesses. So we've been busy taking an already industry-leading set of technologies and enhancing and adding to them more and more. And here to walk you through it, I'm really pl proud to introduce you today, a great person and a great leader. Please welcome Shognik Nandi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Octane. I'm super excited, but it's also my first Octane, so I'm doubly excited. So if you see me fall off stage, it's that extra excitement. <laughs> so let's dive right in. The Okta Workforce Identity Cloud is one of the most foundational pieces of technology an organization has to connect to everything. It's the key to giving the right people the right access to the right technology for the right amount of time, all in today's zero trust world. Our customers rely on Okta for so much, and we take great pride in not only being that key foundational technology layer for them, but also to share their delightful stories. So let's hear from S&P Global CIO, Swami Kochalakota, on how they're using Okta to transform their organization. We have grown both organically and inorganically. Whenever you grow through acquisitions, you inherit technologies and platforms. And the first thing that happens, everybody wants to have access to everything else. Identity is a friction if it is not done right. An important aspect of productivity for our analysts and for our developers and to our customers is removing that friction. And the roadmap that Okta has and the roadmap of what we want our identity to be allows us to scale well. Okta gives us freedom to enable our developers, provide seamless access and better user experience. Which means I can innovate faster in a secure and scalable way. With the Okta integration network, we don't need to do all that work. Out of 7,000 or 8,000 uh, integrations that you have, pick the application quickly and some of the integration we finished in less than an hour. Okta gives us the freedom to focus on our business. So we want it to be invisible to our users, that it just works. We were able to make it really frictionless experience for all of my stakeholders. Our business is data and analytics and ratings and indices. We have to really be thinking about quality and trust constantly. And that's one of the reasons why Okta access and identity management is really, really important to us. Recently, we merged with IHS Market. Whenever you do a merger, we have to deliver revenue synergies as soon as possible. When we are in the merger phase, getting things done quicker is really important. If you are not having access on day one, it's gonna reduce the productivity, it's gonna increase the service test calls, it's gonna be the additional cost for the company. How do we avoid all that? We have to create new products. We have to give access to the existing products to both parties. I think understanding the current state of the technology on each side was the really hard part. Knowing identity is one thing and implementing is different thing. We have to make sure the product and the data that's behind those products is unleashed. Once after we delivered the first application, we were like, okay, boom, let's start doing everything. So Okta gave us that confidence. Identity is at the forefront of that zero trust mission that we have. The reliability is the core feature that we are definitely looking for and Okta has helped us with that. When I talk to our employees, they consistently say that this merger has been very, very easy for them. If I go with the homegrown solution, I can't do it. I don't have somebody to ask what exactly you did. Now, I have a team of experts sitting there. The visionaries, they're the ones who bought Okta. They're the ones who saw the bigger picture of what we can do with an identity platform. We're mission critical to them. We're the key to their identity. Our customers rely on us. If we're up, they're up. If we're down, they're not. They're really keen and passionate about the customer success, and they work closely with us in getting our project successful and getting it delivered on time. 
The S&P team had all of their ducks in a row, and we have a team that's there to help us and support us and do the job that we need to do on behalf of our customers. I think the collaborative nature of what we do is the most important piece. I think we stretched the boundaries of what was easy, and now it's working very, very well. One of our core values is discovery. You have to explore what is the art of the possible. And the art of the possible with what we can do with identity is a lot more than what it ever has been. That's what allows me to get up in the morning every single day and be able to say, what can I do to make a difference? It's exciting and inspiring to see how Okta is helping an organization like S&P Global keep its workforce agile and organization safe and secure. This is even more critical now, given the key challenges workforce identity is facing, like, is your workforce passwordless? Is your identity solution anti-phishing? Are your identity compliance and business processes fully automated, right from onboarding to role changes to compliance audits to someone leaving the organization, every step of it automated. And finally, is every app, system, or tool centralized on a single identity provider? Today, we will show you how the Okta Workforce Identity Cloud enables you to say yes to all these questions. And that starts with how we access our apps, systems, and other tools. In the past couple of years, there's been a growing number of security attacks which had their roots in credential theft or abuses like phishing. The number of unique websites used for phishing attacks reached an all-time high in the second quarter of this year, topping one million sites. But as our workforce is transitioning, to remote and hybrid roles, there's an even higher risk of sophisticated phishing attacks targeting your entire workforce and not just your employees. Take a customer like T-Mobile as an example. They have hundreds of thousands of workers spread between employees, contractors, and business partners who need access to their systems and tools to function and rely on Okta to provide that securely. You need to protect everyone in your extended workforce with anti-phishing factors. And we at Okta are here to help. Today, we're announcing that Okta is the first identity provider that can deliver anti-phish identity solutions across your entire organization. Every user, every app, every operating system, every device. These are the same strong tools that we use ourselves to protect ourselves, and we are going to use every single opportunity to harden these tools further to make your security posture even more robust. At the heart of many of these attacks that we see is often the vulnerable and brittle password. And we at Okta have made great strides in eliminating the password altogether. Going passwordless is not only easy and fast for your organization, it's also significantly more secure. We launched our passwordless technology, Okta FastPass, in 2021. FastPass gives your entire workforce access to passwordless authentication to get any kind of work and technology you need to get that done. Making the trade-off between a delightful user experience and robust security a choice of the past. Since then, businesses like Takeda, Zoom, and Hitachi have all adopted Okta FastPass to make their sign-in experience easier, faster, and a lot more secure. FastPass is now the most comprehensive anti-phishing authenticator for your enterprise, covering every user, every device, every major operating system. We have also enhanced controls around other authenticators like WebAuthn factors and new FIDO authentication credentials like passkeys. So your organization can decide 
which anti-phishing factor works best for you and use that for your entire organization. We are also building on what FastPass does for your workforce to support third parties, to support any kind of device, whether they're managed or unmanaged. With enhanced device security checks, Okta can check for OS version, whether passcodes are enabled, whether your disk is encrypted, and use all of this to improve the security posture for your third parties, even outside the perimeters of your managed device environment. Now enterprises like T-Mobile can focus on their own customers, knowing that users who use their technology, whether it's a contract support worker or a retail employee, they're all protected by Okta. So your organization can now enable anti-phishing identity solutions for everyone. But as we saw in today's boundaryless world, we can't think of access as being limited to a single point in time, nor can we think of it being limited to a specific pool of resources. Because for identity to truly belong to you, we have to connect everyone to everything, all while respecting the philosophy of least privilege. That's why we've extended our Workforce Identity Cloud to ensure that workers have the correct entitlements from their first day to their last day, and also covering their most privileged resources. We announced our plans with Okta Identity Governance and Okta Privileged Access in last Octane, and we are happy to share that we've made some really great progress in both these efforts. Okta Identity Governance is already available to everyone in North America, and we are super excited to announce that we are making it globally available for everyone by the end of this year. <laughs> Okta Identity Governance rethinks the way governance should be done, simplifying and automating the entire process of who gets access to what kind of resources for how long. With Okta Identity Governance, customers can automate all kinds of actions across their access management and governance systems, keeping their IT teams productive without hampering workforce agility. And for the first time, we are offering this alongside our lifecycle management solution and workflows offering, so that as an organization, you get holistic access to governance for your entire organization. And we also have some great updates on the privileged access side of the house. As I mentioned, we've been hard at work and we're excited to share that Okta Privileged Access will be available in early access mode by Q2 of 2023 and generally available to everyone by the end of next year. <laughs> Okta Privileged Access takes the same wonderful user experience that Okta provides for apps and extends it to critical infrastructure. Modernizing security for privileged resources. That means privileged governance, vaulting, and compliance audit capabilities that are core to privileged access are all within the same workforce solution that your IT and security teams love and already rely on. The same anti-phishing passwordless solutions we just spoke about will now be made available to all your privileged resources. No more one-off passwords, no identity silos, and no more needed need for bloated software for your organization. Let's take a look at a customer like Kindrel. Kindrel has a workforce of 90,000 employees spread globally and have a massive cloud deployment. Using Okta, an engineer in Kindrel could request access to a cloud resource using a Jira ticket and have her manager approve it via Slack instantly without ever requiring any static credentials or needing any ticketing system. And that same engineer's access could later be revoked if we see any suspicious login activity, with an audit trail for every step of this journey so that you feel good about the entire process end to end. That kind of simple, secure experience keeps Kindrel's business humming and keeps their security and IT teams feeling safe. That's the power of our unified workforce identity cloud. 
It takes the best parts of access management, governance, and privileged access and delivers them in one easy to use, comprehensive control plane that your teams can leverage to do whatever they need to get their work done. So in summary, as you can all see, we've taken major steps towards passwordless access, protecting your entire organization from phishing. We've enabled automatic compliance capabilities across every user's lifecycle. And we've centralized identity for every resource. However, seeing is believing. So please welcome Stephanie and Jen to showcase how all these functionalities come together to make a customer's experience wonderful. Thank you very much. All right, hi everyone. For this demo today, I'll be the IT manager of Media X Media, a fictional media conglomerate. We recently acquired Streamward, the digital streaming platform. We'll be referencing Media X Media and some of its many subsidiaries throughout our keynote and demos today. In this particular demo, we'll show you how Media X Media leverages Okta's Workforce Identity Cloud to not only improve employee experience, but to also protect our company from a range of cyber attacks targeting employee credentials. I'm also joined by Stephanie, who today will be a DevOps engineer that recently joined from the Streamward acquisition. And ever since acquiring Streamward, our IT teams have been hard at work trying to integrate both of our tech stacks while keeping all of our customer information and all of our employee information secure during this whole process. Easy, right? We've been particularly worried recently because not only are public acquisitions a breeding ground for threat actors, but attacks have also been on the rise especially phishing attacks, targeting credentials like usernames and passwords. To help protect ourselves, we want to eliminate passwords altogether. So we decided to deploy Okta FastPass for secure passwordless authentication. No hardware or passwords required and deployable at scale. Let's see what Stephanie thinks. Since joining Media X Media from the Streamward acquisition, there have been so many changes. One change I do love is that now I can log into all of my work apps managed by Okta using only my fingerprint, and I never even needed to set up a password. I need to check my emails, so let me get signed in with Okta FastPass using my fingerprint. And here we go, nice and easy. What Stephanie doesn't know yet is that FastPass will help her with a lot more serious issues than just simplifying her sign-on experience. As a matter of fact, it looks like we have a threat actor. And he seems to be spinning up a phishing campaign, targeting Media X Media and our DevOps engineers who tend to have highly privileged access to resources. Time for you to see FastPass in action. Now that I'm logged in, let's take a look at my email and see if any messages have come through. There's another reminder message about open enrollment. I better take care of this now before I miss the deadline to select my health benefits for next year. I'm going to click on the orange button to get started. <laughs> hmm, it looks like I need to log in again. Oh no, that open enrollment email was a fake and I clicked on the URL, but the message looks so real. And the attacker has been thwarted. <laughs> now let's review what just happened. First, phishing attacks usually try to steal a user's password. So if they don't have one, there is no password for the attacker to steal, like in Stephanie's case. 
Thus, passwordless authentication with FastPass protected her and our entire company from the attack. Second, Okta doesn't stop there. Attackers are constantly evolving, and so is Okta. FastPass goes even a step further than passwordless to truly protect against credential-based attacks. In this example, FastPass did a domain check and verified that the requesting site was a fake, blocking the login altogether. And finally, because FastPass is fully integrated into Okta's workforce identity cloud, we can back up FastPass with additional security layers across our Zero Trust stack. For example, using Okta workflows, we had pre-configured an investigation flow to immediately alert our SecOps team of an incident via Slack. And we provided them with critical information, such as the IP address of the attack, so that they could act quickly. And since we suspect Stephanie is probably just the beginning of this attacker's campaign, we can also alert all of our employees that were being targeted so they too can contribute to our security. Now, let's check back in with our DevOps engineer, Stephanie. It looks like she has her hands full with a separate issue. I've been assigned a new issue in JIRA, the ticketing platform we use at MediaX Media to manage and delegate tickets to engineers. Now that we're part of MediaX Media, I don't know how to request access to Kubernetes to troubleshoot this issue. It's usually a long and tedious process to gain access to privileged systems such as this one. In the meantime, I'll update the ticket status to under investigation, then send a message to my manager about getting access. Oh wait, what message am I seeing here? Wow, a Slack message came through saying that my Kubernetes access request has been submitted. I didn't even know this was an option for Kubernetes. The MediaX Media IT team has so many tricks up their sleeves. My request was submitted automatically. Once Stephanie changed the status to under investigation in JIRA, Okta automatically sent an access request to her manager. To make this whole access process simple, Okta integrates with third-party applications such as JIRA, which, when enabled, will automatically kick off provisioning and deprovisioning and support identity governance flows, like access requests and certifications. Before getting back to Stephanie, let's take a quick look at the Okta Identity Governance Access Request Portal, where you can create access request flows or customize the number of approvals. As Stephanie's manager, I can quickly approve the request here or in other applications such as Slack. Wow, not only was my request submitted automatically, I have now been granted access to Kubernetes using the same credentials I use to log into all of my work apps managed by Okta. That's amazing. Now, let me get started on that ticket and bring the Kubernetes cluster back online. All set. The Kubernetes issue has been resolved. I can update the ticket status in JIRA to complete it. While I have access to Kubernetes, I wonder if there have been any other new changes to this cluster. What? I've already lost access. That was quick. Guess I won't be able to take a look around. Sorry, Stephanie. Once she closed the JIRA ticket, Okta automatically revoked her access based on our company's configurations. This ensures that our users have zero standing privileges and they only have access to these highly privileged resources for as long as their work requires it. Overall, our team is so glad that we implemented Okta after the acquisition. Our employees have certainly been excited with how much simpler it makes their lives. What they don't realize is how much it's also improved our security and allowed us to move faster. From enabling easy, safe access to every resource, to blocking a serious credential-based phishing attack with FastPass, to automating incident responses, our CISO is pretty excited too. 
Now we're ready for our next acquisition to power our future or whatever else threat actors throw at us. Thank you and we'll hand it back to Todd. Wow, great job, Jen, great job, Stephanie. I think our most impressive accomplishment is 10 years of making single sign-on demos interesting and compelling. <laughs> the team does a great job. 10 in a row, I mean, you gotta, you gotta celebrate the little things. Okta, uh, the identity governance, it's a hit product and we're really excited about that potential for privilege access as well. And you can learn more about these amazing products and innovations at our workforce keynote, which is coming up later today. So workforce identity is critical to how we all use technology. But as we look to the future, there's also a massive opportunity. And that massive opportunity is all around customer identity. It solves a fundamental problem, and that's getting connected to all of your customers online, something we're all trying to do. And that can lead to incredible growth as your brand is established in the minds of billions of consumers online. And to meet this potential, however, we have to rethink how customer identity is done. And that's why our focus here is all about developers. And that's been Auth0's focus since the very beginning. All of these great customer connections and experiences, they're built by developers. But the problem is, today, too many developers are building this themselves. And not only building it, they have to maintain it themselves as well. And that's a problem. So we've done the research. We've asked hundreds of engineering teams, and they continuously tell us that identity is one of the top two things they spend their time on. Why? And it's not just the initial implementation. It's a compounding integration problem because the threat environment evolves, the user experience demands evolve, the standardization on how it works together evolve. And every hour, every hour they spend on identity is an hour they are not spending on innovation. Big opportunity cost there. When we say identity belongs to you, we don't literally mean you have to build it yourself. We have a cloud for that. And it's so easy. You can log into auth0.com, start using the product. Your developers can get the SDK in their language, see how it works, use the free product. Maybe you need to pay with your credit cards. And you could actually walk out of this keynote right now and go do it, but don't do that. I need you here. I've got a lot more to show you, but you could. And if you did, what you'd find is that it's incredibly easy, it solves all of your problems, and it's an amazing service. It's a cloud that can free your customers to access any consumer app or any SaaS app they want. It makes it secure and incredibly user-friendly because people don't want to mess around with login or security. Your customers want to just get stuff done. And it has to scale to billions and billions of users in a flexible way. And it has to work so that you can have a perfect, a pixel perfect brand online. That's the capability you need. And the, your developers are critical, but it's not just developers. It's your security teams and your digital teams as well, because everyone in your organization, everyone in your org organization should be focused on your core areas of innovation. So now I want to bring up someone who I greatly admire and respect, who is a visionary in the industry and an occasional workout partner of mine. Please welcome Eugenio Pace. Whoa, look at this. Good morning, everyone. Hello and welcome. Welcome to this very, very special octane for all of us. Developers, are you out there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, are you excited? Yes. Yes. Uh, can you tell that we are excited? Oh, yeah. yeah, we are very excited because you only heard half of the story, and I'm here to tell you the other half of the story. And it's going to be awesome with our new Okta Customer Identity Cloud powered by Auth0. Uh, but I want to start with the basic questions that we heard before. So, you know. Are you, think about this, are your users logging in in their terms? Are they? Can you tell real users from fake ones? Can you? Can you, with a flip of a switch, prevent people from user, using credentials that are, are stolen, that are out there in the, in the dark web? And last but not least, developers out there, are you building applications that are ready for the enterprise right at our stage? Are you? Can you? 
Well, today I'm here to show you how we can make all this happen, how we can put all these questions behind us, and next time we meet, you say yes, 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 yes. The goal of customer identity is simplicity. And if you're a big consumer brand like Dick's Sporting Goods or a fast-growing SaaS company like uh, TripActions, you heard before, it's easy to understand how identity accelerates your business without having to sort to you know, complicated APIs or just throw out complexity. Customer identity exists at the intersection of three forces, which is privacy, security, and user experience. And companies have made trade-offs between these things. We think that to make an application super easy to use, it, you know, it would do a sacrifice of security. And conversely, if it's super secure, then you know, it's really hard to use. And the trick, which is not easy to pull off, is to maximize all these three things at the same time. And that's what we do. That's what the Okta Customer Identity Cloud does for you. Let's see what it looks like for our two use cases. And let me start with consumer applications, which I'm pretty sure we are all very intimately familiar with because we are, we are all consumers. So the goal here is for your digital teams to increase revenue through new repeat customers, but also through amazing individualized experiences while we're not putting them at jeopardy. The customer identity cloud for consumer applications is designed to simplify registration, to simplify login across all devices, across any stack, across all your platforms for higher acquisition, more loyalty, more retention, more conversion, and a better experience and a whole view of who your users are. And from a capabilities perspective, there are three things that we are doing to optimize these experiences. First is making it easy for all of you to customize the user experience with our no-code universal login with dozens of social and passwordless options to log in. Second is personalization through progressive profiling which allows your marketers to collect first-party data about the users over time, as opposed to one obnoxious long form that, let's be honest, we all hate. And finally, preventing revenue loss with security features that distinguish real users from fake ones. That's what we can do. Some of the brands we all love are using this today, Headspace, Jersey Mike's, Dick's Sporting Goods are all relying on the Okta Customer Identity Cloud right now. Customer Identity Cloud for SaaS applications, on the other hand, it's about accelerating growth too, but it's uniquely designed for companies with business consumers, business customers, not individuals. And historically, there's been very limited options here. So developers in the world have spent a tremendous amount of energy to do this, and usually being part-time security experts, which is not a very good idea. From a capabilities perspective, we want to offer you out of the box, an out of the box solution with all the tools that SaaS companies need to drive customer adoption. And it includes out of the box enterprise federation. We just released the Okta enterprise connection that makes this super easy to do. It's through providing capabilities out of the box that allows you to go to market in no time. And finally, last but not least, through reliable and dynamic scaling to meet the needs, the high needs of enterprise businesses. Okta Customer Identity Cloud for SaaS applications allows every developer in the world to go up market and reach enterprise level identity capabilities very quickly and super easily. And unlike building this yourself, which is not a good idea, um, our product, it's constantly evolving. It's always incorporating new things that are available in the industry, best and, and greatest. So if you're a SaaS builder looking for single sign-on, passwordless, etc., you can count on us to get all these things today and in the future. Letting us focus 
on customer identity and all the complexity around it allowed companies like Trip Actions to focus on the most important thing for them, which is their customers and the app that, they, that serves them. That's because customer identity at its heart, it's a complicated integration problem. Whether that's with your marketing stack or other critical infrastructure, and we want to give you all support through open standards, through pre-built integrations, through numerous SDKs for any language, for being able to connect with any API, and with the freedom to deploy in public cloud or private cloud, running on Amazon Web Services or running on Microsoft Azure. All of that is so you can spend, again, less time on identity and more time on what matters to you. And today, we're taking the customer identity cloud to a new level. We want all, use, all of you to use identity in whatever way makes sense for your business. And we'll help you connect to all of that seamlessly with no friction. That's why we're announcing our support for passkeys as an authenticator, yes, across all consumer applications. Passkeys bring biometrics access to all your devices. And with the Customer Identity Cloud, you can get all this with the flip of a switch. Some of you might uh, need to also navigate complicated compliance requirements. And in addition to great user experience, we are also addressing much of that uh, today as well. Many of you are in industries with, highly, with high regulations. You know, you might be a bank, a hospital, you might be an energy provider. Your bar for compliance, it's just at a different level. And that's why we are today unveiling the new authentication capabilities that we call highly regulated off as well. So for a business like Fifth Third Bank, new financial APIs and key management make it possible for them to spend, again, more time on their customers and their apps and leave all that compliance mumbo jumbo to us. Finally, remember that customer identity is at the intersection of three forces, privacy, security, and user experience. And while creating great experiences and meeting compliance requirements is critical for winning customers, it is just as critical to keep them safe. We have an incredible amount of information that goes through our system every day. Billions of logins happen through our platform globally. And that informs us of what's going on. We want to make sure that your entire cross-functional teams have the same insights. And that's why today we are also introducing Security Center, which is a single pane of glass that will give you the ability to monitor, detect, respond in real time to potential identity security events. Yes, yes. So, to recap, the Customer Identity Cloud will give you the tools to give your customers access to all your apps in any way they see fit. We give developers the technology to build enterprise-ready apps quickly and easily. And we are showing how, with Security Center, you can distinguish between real and fake users. But as my friend Shagnit says, seeing is believing. And to show you, uh, I want to invite Jamika, our CISO, and Matt from our customer identity team to see how all this plays together. Thank you very much. Thanks, Eugenio. It's just another day in paradise letting Okta do its thing. I sleep great at night knowing that I made the right decision with the Okta Customer Identity Cloud. Tonight, my daughter showed me a TikTok, giving instructions on how to log into StreamWord Media for free, using a list of usernames and passwords of legitimate customers, apparently users who had their passwords on other sites that were breached. This seems like something, it's getting pretty late here, and this seems like something that I can deal with in the morning. Huh, what is this? It's almost midnight. My phone's blowing up. TikTok, breach passwords, viral video with over 2 million views. <sighs> this definitely can't wait until the morning. Oh, goodness, now I have notifications from Okta. 
Wow, over 10,000 logins, known breach passwords, ongoing credential stuffing attacks, trying to test even more accounts. I better wake up my favorite customer identity cloud admin, Matt. Whoa, it's getting pretty, why is Jamika calling me? What's going on here? Oh, hey Jamika, uh, what's going on so late at night? <laughs> oh, hey Matt, I'm not sure if you're aware of this TikTok story. Yeah, I saw it last night, what's up? Well, it seems to have gone viral, and now I'm getting notifications from tens of thousands of logins using known compromised credentials. Oh, that must be the alerts that are being sent out by the Okta Customer Identity Cloud's new security center. Let me take a look. Yeah, I can see what you're seeing. Whoa, this is a mess. Why do people reuse passwords anyway? Look here, Security Center has a summarized view of the different types of attack traffic, and I can even look deeper into the different event types used for the specific detection. Do we have any way to mitigate this tonight? At my last company, it took months to turn around a breach password detection solution, but this time we don't have weeks. Yes, we do. Okta has this built in. Remember, Jamika, we were waiting to see what kind of friction this would introduce for our users before actually turning it on. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think we need to turn it on now. I'll have a call with Kate, our CDO, in the morning. OK, I'll turn on breach password detection now. And any user logging in with known compromised credentials will be blocked and asked to reset their passwords. Sounds perfect. How quickly can we have it enabled? I already did. And you could see inside of Security Center that we're seeing the use of breach credentials being blocked. Hey, Matt, I'd like other members of my team to be able to see this and monitor it for over the next few weeks. That's easy enough. I'll set them up with access to Okta Customer Identity Cloud Security Center and set role-based access control so only they are able to log into Security Center. This way, they'll get alerts, and maybe I can avoid another late-night surprise call. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for all your help tonight. <laughs> Let's call it a night, and I'll fill out the incident report in the morning after I talk to Kate. Oh, goody. <laughs> Security Center is our solution to keeping customers' identity secure. With most of the world's security operations tools focusing on workforce identity, Security Center as Okta's customer identity cloud will become a central place for observability, incident response, automation, and even forensics and auditing. This is just one of the many ways we're working at Okta to protect you and your customers and keep you safe. And you don't have long to wait. Security Center will be available in the coming year. All right, StreamWord is very lucky to have someone like Jamika and Matt minding the fort along with the Customer Identity Cloud. So we are very, very proud of all these products, and I just want to put another plug in for the upcoming keynotes for workforce and customer. You can see George and Arnob take the stage and talk about Workforce Identity Cloud, and Shiv and the whole team there take the stage for Customer Identity Cloud later today. So you've met both of these clouds, so why does it matter that they come from one company? Identity is a complex domain. And you need a partner that understands it and is focused on it and can help you navigate this complexity. That means one place for roadmap, one place to collaborate with the customers on vision and what's the right view of the future. One conference like Octane to, to come to and meet all the great experts here. One, set of, one sales team to help you buy more products, hopefully. Uh, and one set of support offerings across both uh, use cases. So there's a lot of synergies by having one company. But it has to all be built on this foundation of reliability. Four nines is just table stakes, and we're striving for even much higher than that. And we've shown much higher than that in the past. In fact, we've spent over $700 million of R&D in the last 18 months since we acquired Auth0 toward this important goal. But what really makes these two clouds special is what's underneath, and that's the Okta identity platform. It's the layer of interoperability. It underpins both clouds, and it focuses on automation, integration, and security. And we have a long-term vision for this platform, and our R&D teams are hard at work on it. It'll roll out over the next few years, and I'm excited to show you a glimpse into our thinking today. A great example is the Workflows platform service. The value of no-code automation and what it delivers, it can be useful across both clouds. Many of you use it for the Workforce Identity Cloud, and if you're not, you should be. 
but it can apply to the customer identity cloud as well. In fact, with Streamword and Matt and Jamika, you can imagine them, imagine them customizing their response to breach passwords beyond Credential Guard even more than they showed in that demo. Exactly personalized for your needs. Another example of a, of a capability of the Okta identity platform is risk signal sharing. Both of our cl clouds rely on risk signals, whether it's the customer identity cloud's security center or the workforce identity cloud's capability around threat insight. These are specific to each cloud, but they both share a common reliance on data. And combining this data together makes each cloud more powerful. So risk signals and capabilities on one cloud and that data can be shared and used to protect the other cloud and vice versa. This is a data network effect that makes everyone stronger. And we have a lot of data. With over 50 billion events per month across 100 different types of risk signals, this is a powerful, powerful way to make both clouds more secure. So while these examples are very valuable and over the next few years we'll, we'll implement many more capabilities of the Okta Identity Platform, I think the greatest multiplying effect for our two clouds is what we can do with our vision for the Okta Integration Network. The Okta Integration Network, it's the core innovation that enables choice. And this is our fundamental guiding principle. Earlier in our journey, we talked about how the Okta Integration Network enabled your choice for the cloud in a way that was as manageable and secure as if you were running software on your own network. But now, we all know this, the center of gravity has shifted, and everyone is cloud by default. It's cloud by default. And there's a different battle now. The battle now is between monolithic platforms that want to lock you in, or an innovative, open ecosystem that enables choice. Our worldview? It's very clear. We are technology enthusiasts. And we believe that with all the innovation potential out there, the best is yet to come. And we believe you can have both. You can get the best technology in the world, the most innovation, without compromising anything on security. And just like the Okta Integration Network, it made choice possible by enabling workforce customers to integrate with cloud applications. We can empower SaaS builders to innovate with a brand new version of the Okta Integration Network. And that's because there's a world full of these SaaS builders, some of them in this room, many more around the world. And they're focused on that 10 times X innovation breakthrough that will make you all more productive and more secure. That's the potential. And we can connect that innovation with all the customers that need it, but also want it to be secure, compliant, and manageable. The Okta Integration Network can unlock all of this innovation by bridging the world of workforce customers with SaaS builders. Because what's holding back innovation in our ecosystem is the lack of secure, compliant enterprise readiness. So this is no less than something that might sound a little dramatic, but this is important. This is a fight for the future of innovation. And this new version of the Okta Integration Network it starts with new types of integrations meant to solve the problems of today and tomorrow. And we know how this works. If you look at our history, in the early days of the Okta Integration Network, we started with proprietary things like secure web authentication, and that led to more acceptance of SAML and OIDC and SKIM and on and on. The potential is we want to move everyone on this journey up and to the right. And this new Okta Integration Network will move everyone on this journey together, not just one person, not just one vendor, not just one SaaS builder, but we can all get there together. That's the potential. It's only gonna work if it has clear benefits to both workforce customers and to SaaS builders. Everyone has to benefit for us to get there as an ecosystem. So here's the benefit to workforce customers. The standards that unlock identity-powered zero-trust security that's the potential. We can unlock that dream everyone has. We can have security, fine-grained authentic, fine grain authorization, identity governance. It can snap together for any app in the ecosystem you want to use right out of the box. Amazing potential for workforce customers. We're all struggling with this. But it's also great for SaaS builders. What do they want? First of all, they want to know what the bar is. Everyone wants to know what the goal is. They want to know what enterprise ready looks like. And they want to implement it fast. They want to implement it fast, and they want to maintain it easily. 
and they want to get credit for it. They want to stand out from their competition. They want their work showcased in this new version of the Okta integration network. And they want this all without spending one single calorie on it. So our vision here is very clear. SaaS builders, they can get all of this simply by using the customer identity cloud. And with more SaaS builders using the customer identity cloud, the Okta integration network gets stronger and stronger. And over time, there will be thousands and thousands of apps in the Okta integration network that are built on the customer identity cloud, reaching tens of thousands of workforce customers and beyond. So even more so than it is today, the Okta integration network becomes a powerful hub for data and insights. And this data, is the, the potential is tremendous. We're mostly used to thinking about it as its benefit to workforce customers. We publish our businesses at work report, which gives you an insight to all the innovation e bubbling up in the ecosystem. But it's also incredibly valuable to SaaS builders. Let's take a specific example of a SaaS builder like Atlassian who is a customer of the customer identity cloud today. So Atlassian's core value proposition is their, their mission is to build this best-in-class suite of products that will support agile development teams and projects seamlessly and be, be the best in the world at that. But they also believe in innovation not just for themselves, but for the entire ecosystems. So they want all of their apps to integrate seamlessly with every specific SaaS app in all of their customers. So the problem is, with 200,000 plus customers, they're using all different kinds of SaaS applications based on preference or industry or size of company. So Atlassian doesn't know what each customer specifically is using. But they do have tons of customers using the Okta integration network today. And the Okta integration network has this information. And we can expose this to builders like Atlassian to enable them to build out-of-the-box, pre-integrated solutions exactly to what's in your environment. Never before been possible. Now, of course, we'd have to do this with the proper security and consent con controls, kind of like an iPhone app asks you to opt into the data it's sharing or what it's, gonna, what it's gonna do for you. And we will do that, of course. But the benefit to Atlassian is they can have the most integrated suite of applications in the world differentiated from all the competitors. And for you, the workforce customers, you get a magical experience that the, uh, you get a suite of products that just know what you do and know what you work with. And you don't have to spend a bunch of calories wiring it all together. That's amazing. And this is all only possible with the customer identity cloud. So this is exciting, but it only works if the innovators, the SaaS builders, see tremendous value in it. And to explore this further, I had a conversation with a great person and a great leader and he is Mike Cannon Brooks, who's the co CEO of Atlassian. Now, he is in Sydney, Australia, which is 7,000 miles in away, 7,000 miles away, and it's coming up on 4 30 in the morning. So, we had to record this earlier, but I found it incredibly insightful, and I think you will as well. Mike, welcome to Octane. Glad you could join us. Thanks for having me here, man. What do you think is the most misunderstood thing about the future of cloud computing? Look, I think our worldview is unique for a number of different reasons. I think we believe in you know, a term that we use called Cambrian SaaS. What we mean by that is there's a, a Cambrian explosion of SaaS applications, and we don't see that as threatening. We see that as a huge benefit for customers and for everybody else. It comes around because of, look, reduced costs of building world-class SaaS applications, cloud infrastructure, et cetera. Um, it's possible to integrate them because you have fixed endpoints. You know where Atlassian.com or Slack.com is or whatever it is so that you can interact with them. But it does come with challenges, which we're well aware of, and, and you guys are uh, helpfully trying to solve for us or work with us on solving in terms of identity, permissioning, and how do these apps work together? How do you get IT controls and governance? And as a multi-product vendor, we spend a lot of time uh, uh, trying to work on and solve for our customers. But this view you've expressed about the Cambrian explosion of SaaS and the choice and the ability to have the right tool for the right job, it's pretty different than other big platforms. If you think of the Microsofts or the other big suite companies, why is it that you see the world so differently? We have a fundamental ethos in extensibility of our tools. So deeply extensible, integratable. Um, we want our customers and teams to work well together with uh, whatever tools they need to use. And we want our products to win in the marketplace on their strengths for your team and the job they're trying to get done, um, not because of some sort of vendor lock-in. 
Can you remember the first time at Atlassian that someone had the concept or the term enterprise ready? You remember how it started? Uh, we continue to get more enterprise ready, I guess. Uh, I, I think we've done a phenomenal job over the last decade at that, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a continual mission. It's a really hard thing, right? Um, especially with laws, compliance, changing in different geographies around the world continually. I would say we're probably 12 years into our decade-long mission to be better and better at the enterprise. What, what is your perspective on what value Okta can bring to this? When you think about Cambrian and SAS, the explosion of applications, your own surveys, I should remember the number, I think it's like the average user uses 90 apps in a week or a month or, you know, it's, it's some in tens of apps. And that, growing, yeah. Yeah, and growing. That requires challenges that you in Okta, you know, deeply understand and are trying to solve. Um, and we see that every day, right, in terms of identity, is this the same person across two applications, right? How does data from Confluence get connected to data from, from Slack or from somewhere else? Yes, we can do point to point, but what is in my Okta database is fundamentally a list of all my applications and who has access to which, and all of my users, staff, employees, contractors, customers, whatever I put into my identity databases, bringing those together and um, servicing the, the Cambrian SaaS explosion with, with that data to enable better connections for customers is a, is a really powerful and, and fantastic position, I think. I couldn't agree more. I think that by working together, the, the ecosystem can be 10 times bigger and we can bring this to fruition, this Cambrian explosion that benefits everyone and makes the pie bigger for everyone. Tell me about Atlassian together. We have all of our work management products, so Trello, Jira Work Management, Confluence, and um, forgetting something, Alice, of course, uh, and Atlassian Access, uh, available for, for larger organizations for a single price. It's kind of interesting because it's against our historical philosophy of best of breed individual tooling, um, but it comes to some of those larger enterprises that say, look, I want to buy all of your work management things for all of my customers internally and let them use whatever they want. Yeah, I think that's really interesting, especially the multi-product part. I look forward to doing a ton more with you and the whole Atlassian team in the future. Thanks for having me, and thanks for everyone at Octane. I hope you have a fantastic conference. Let's, let's give it up for Mike. He might be up early watching that. Thanks, Mike. I highly respect Mike and the team at Atlassian, but it's not just Mike that's excited about this vision. There are hundreds of more customers that use the customer identity cloud that are also applications in the Okta integration network today. This number is growing all the time. We've talked about this vision and we talked about the near-term benefits of zero trust security and fine-grained authorization, but it's a bigger picture vision here. And that's a bigger picture vision that's gonna enable innovation and choice forever. That's what's most exciting to me. But to make this a reality, we have a few concrete steps we're excited to share with you today as this starts to take shape. First thing is we need to free the innovators. And the goal is that every SaaS builder in the world uses the customer identity cloud. And as we talked about, the problem today is the majority of them are, are doing it themselves, and that has to change. So we have to stick to the basics. Okta's good at sticking to the basics, executing every day. So we have to build a great customer identity cloud that they want to use that's better than building it themselves. That's why we're announcing all the features we announced in Eugenio's section of the keynote. Has to have the exact features that have to solve their problem and not get in their way at all. From a pricing perspective, starting today, SaaS builders who use the customer identity cloud they will get the Okta Enterprise connection free for all those using enterprise or the B2B self-service plans. That's pretty cool. And, and why is that cool? Why does Todd think this is so cool? Because it removes friction and it makes it easier for SaaS builders to get value with free federation with every Okta workforce customer in the entire world. More value for the builder, more help getting them enterprise ready, and the flywheel starts to spin. So eventually, all SaaS builders, will, all they'll need to do is simply use the customer identity cloud, and it will solve all of these problems. We're not quite there yet, but when we're done, they'll just use the customer identity cloud, and all their enterprise readiness problems will be solved. As we make progress, though, we can do something very simple but valuable. We can give them a blueprint as to what enterprise readiness looks like. And we have a lot of insights. 16,000 plus customers, 7,000 integrations and growing. We know what the requirements are. We know what all the workforce customers need. 
So we're publishing the Enterprise Identity Benchmark white paper, and it's available on our website today to help answer some of these questions. So if you're a SaaS builder, or if you're just a workforce customer that wants to make sure we know what we're talking about, you can download it today and, 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 and learn with us as we grow this ecosystem. And the last announcement is think about where all the innovation comes from. That big breakthrough, that 10x productivity improvement or 10x security improvement, that big breakthrough is the dream in the mind of some entrepreneur today. And these are the folks that we have to make sure we support. And that's why we're enhancing the Auth0 for Startups program to greatly expand its reach. This program has always already been an amazing success with 1,200 startups helped over the lifetime and 300 SaaS builders helped in this program this year alone. So we're raising the level of funding, which makes you qualify for this, up to $5 million. And if you're under $5 million venture or $5 million of funding raised, you can get the customer identity cloud for free. Stop building, stop doing work on undifferentiated identity capabilities, get the enterprise readiness path, and you can get that all for free by using the customer identity cloud. That is cool. <laughs> startups, startups are important, but it's not just startups that need to innovate. We all feel the pressure here. Okta feels the pressure. Your organization feels the pressure. That's the world we're in. You have to innovate and change or you'll be left behind. So it should be clear that we believe in innovation for everyone. That's because there are two different worldviews here. There's the monolithic platform view that believes that lock-in is the only way to achieve integration and security versus a belief in an open ecosystem. And the future of the OCK integration network, it's a key to enabling this open ecosystem without compromising one iota, one mor morsel on choice or security. And this view of the world, it's aligned with our vision to free everyone to safely use any technology. Because innovators, people watching here, this group, everyone that's an innovator, is always pushing technology forward. And identity is the driver of this vision, and it's applicable to every area, every aspect of your company. CEO, your board, technical teams, product teams, digital teams, CIOs, everyone. It's the how to all these questions we've asked today. Because the right view of the future, the right view of the future is one that's identity-centric. And we are committed to building this world where identity belongs to you. And we're going to do it through our two clouds. They're purpose-built with focused teams, focused on solving all of your specific identity use cases. And not only are they powerful on their own, but they are stronger together. These two clouds, they can change the entire SaaS ecosystem. And the next evolution of the Oct integration network, we can make workforce customers safer and SaaS builders more successful, all while driving and fostering a greater, more op open, more extensive and innovative SaaS ecosystem. So we've talked a lot about identity today, but as I close up this, this, this keynote, I want to bring it back to you, because it doesn't matter if it doesn't work for you. That's what drives us. That's what we're focused on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm deeply humbled to lead this company in service of you and here's to today, and here's tomorrow, and here's to the next 10 octanes. Please enjoy Octane 22.